How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video, I'm gonna be unlocking the brand new 99 overall signature series Ichiro Suzuki. Uh, he's free into the game for completing the series of career tribute moments. So I wanted to first show you guys his stats. He has been discovered in the game. This is what his stats look like on his player card in game, and he's very good. 116, 125, mid 60s power with 124 vision, almost maxed out fielding, as well as 90 speed. A solid card in general. I will uh, show you guys now that I've completed this entire program. This is in the 10th inning program underneath each road tribute moments. You will ha see these uh, series of missions. You have to complete a variety of hits in one game, you know, home run in one plate appearance, home run in one game type of thing, player locked as Ichiro. I have created a video explaining all of these individual missions, also giving a little bit of a backstory on why Ichiro is my favorite player. I'll have that video pinned in the comment section down below. It was also the previous upload. But basically, these moments didn't take me very long. These missions took me about an hour or so to complete. I was not able to complete them all on the first try. It took me uh, a few tries here. I wanted to show you guys this is the very first one I'm completing, which is uh, one home run. I wanted to knock out the two missions that require a home run. One of them is in an entire game right here, playing the Texas Rangers. The other one is in one plate appearance. I wanted to focus on these missions first simply because I feel like if you're going for just regular hits and you end up hitting a home run, it would be nice to just finish these moments, uh, get them out of the way as quickly as possible. Now this first one probably took me the longest out of any of the moments. I needed to get used to uh, playing against the CPU. They actually gave me an inside, park, inside the park home run, but it counted as a triple as you see here on this screenshot. So I kind of fast forwarded a little bit. I'm 0 for 2 in this game facing a lefty and we're going with the power swing. I'm power swinging on every single opportunity I have, every single pitch that is thrown. Uh, you don't really want to swing at every pitch though. You want to swing at pitches over the middle of the plate, wait for your home run pitch over the middle and try and power swing, get that no doubter animation. This is the next moment that requires a home run. You need to go ahead and hit a home run in this plate appearance. And I got lucky, I swung at a uh, pitch up in the zone kind of swung over the middle of the plate and power swung, got the no doubter, and that one was a little bit easier for me than, let's say, the first one, which was using the entire game. So kind of different. It's going to be, you're going to have some struggles with different moments than other people will. It's just the fact of the matter is. But I'm power swinging on all these. If you notice at the time when I'm making contact, the PCI is shrinking a little bit. In this game, you needed to have three hits, including an extra base hit. I would recommend trying to get the extra base hit in the first two at-bats. You're not guaranteed uh, four or five at-bats each game. It's just kind of however the computer randomly hits for you. In this one, I've already had two at-bats. We scored seven runs, and it's in the second inning. So I'm in a pretty good situation to get this moment completed. Now, I grounded out. I power swung on that. Probably if you have uh, two hits already, you already have the extra base hit done, just go ahead and regular swing. I don't even know why I power swung on that last one. Just kind of a habit. I was also... Uh, completing this live so trying to read comments and respond to people i'm just got used to power swinging and that's probably why i went with the power swing but uh, regular x swing smack one into the gap just out of the reach of griffey he almost makes a diving catch the computer will rob you it seems like they know exactly what you're trying to do and that leads me into this moment right here where you have to kind of steal a base there are a couple different moments where you have to steal a base and the number one tip i have for this one is don't go on the first pitch. The opponent will try and slide step. They'll throw a pitch out. They just know that you're trying to steal. They do know exactly what you're trying to do for these moments. So they're going to try and uh, throw you out any way possible. I would recommend going on the second pitch. So here we get the base hit that we need. We got on first. That's probably, that's not a requirement, but you have to get on base in order to steal second. So this first one, I'm not even going to do anything. I tried to press R1. He kept trying to pick me off. So I decided not to take a step. On the time that I'm actually going to go, though, I'm going to take a step. If you notice at the top right, I'm using the left stick to aim it left to return to first base just in case if he throws a pickoff move or, you know, throws a pickoff in there. But uh, basically, even if he does, uh, my guy will automatically go back to first. And then once he lifts his leg, I'm advancing to second base and trying to steal the base, which we got fairly easy on this first one. Now there is another moment that you have to complete that also requires another stolen base facing Pedro Severino. We'll get there in a little bit. But uh, in this one right here, this one's an extra base hit. You have to hit Ichiro's 3,000th hit. This moment is fairly easy. I went ahead and power swung on that first pitch, swung very early. 
and that's something that you kind of have to get used to with Ichiro's swing. He has a very quick swing, but uh, he will be very good in ranked season, very good online in this game. Just trying him out from some of these moments. The ball is flying off his bat. I was able to complete uh, some of these moments much quicker now that uh, I finished the home runs. I got the hard ones out of the way, I would say. And these, these last few are fairly easy. You just need a couple base knocks. Some of the moments don't even re require an extra base hit. You only have to get, you know, a few hits in the game. Uh, some of the moments require more hits than others, obviously. So you want to try and knock those ones out earlier. I think I saved the four hit moment for a little bit later than I probably should have. But uh, that might be one of the tougher ones as well. Sometimes you get, uh, you get unlucky. You hit line drives to the outfield. In this situation, that's what happened there. Sometimes they're going to get a bad reaction, a bad animation, and you might be able to get it over their head. But depending on the team you're going up against. I mean, I'm one for two in this situation. I got another at-bat here in the third. I really only need one more base hit. Go ahead and regular X-swing or power swing like I did right there. And that one's out of the reach. That will be able to complete the moment. But basically, these are pretty straightforward. I think that it is worth it. It only took me about an hour and a half, hour 15 minutes. I didn't exactly put a time limit on it or, you know, exactly gauge how much time it took. But basically, they're, they're pretty simple. It, once you get in the groove, I was able to complete a few of these moments in a row on the very first try. Some of the other moments, though, took me a few tries, like five times for the home run, maybe even, you know, six or seven tries in the very first time going for that first home run. But once I hit it, it seemed like I completed the second home run much easier. Uh, same thing with the stolen base. I completed that one on the first try. It's more of a challenging moment because you have to get the hit and then steal the base. Uh, sometimes the, the CPU will go ahead and, and walk you in certain situations if you take enough pitches. I think they walked me a couple times when I was going for hits. I had to restart or uh, going for multi-game multi, multi -game hits or, or I mean multi-hits in a game. But basically... Uh, Facing uh, Marco Estrada might be a little challenging. He's, he's a little bit deceptive, but we're also playing at Ship It, so it's nice to go up at uh, play a moment at Ship It Field. This is my home field in ranked seasons. I always choose that field, but you just need a nice base hit there. Uh, this one, I think you needed four hits. This is the four hit moment. This one might be a little bit more challenging, but if you notice, I'm not really swinging at everything. I try to include most of the action where I am swinging. I don't like to make videos just playing the CPU, but I think it's important to include some of these tips that might help you complete these moments a little bit faster especially uh, during the holidays you might not want to spend too much time grinding it this out so you might want to spend some time with your family if you want to get this done in the meantime you know here and there complete a few moments each day you should be able to unlock this card rather quickly but this one right here is pretty easy four hits it's pretty easy if you're patient if you wait on some good pitches and just wait for the opponent the cpu to throw you one down the middle you're playing on rookie the PCI covers pretty much the entire batter's box, uh, entire strike zone for sure. And uh, you can really hit anything thrown if you just move the PCI just barely and, you know, regular swing, power swing, really try and shoot a gap. That's pretty much what I'm doing in this video. I got one off the wall. That one is in the gap. So back-to-back -back doubles to start it off. I'm really just looking to go four for four in the first four at-bats so that way it doesn't come down to the last at-bat situation. You kind of want to leave yourself some leeway. You're also not even guaranteed five at-bats in this type of moment. Anyway, uh, so far so good. I have been able to hit three hits in a row now. That one falls in for a single. It doesn't really matter if you uh, expand, you know, if you try and go for second or third base. You might just want to stay at first for all of them. But if you do get in scoring position, you might be able to get more at-bats simply because you might score some more runs. You know, the computer might perform better if you advance that extra base. Just something to keep in mind. I'm trying to include as many tips as possible in this type of video. But if I would have swung at that first pitch, I'd probably get myself out. I'm trying to wait for something more over the middle of the plate, and we end up going deep with each row. This one is resulting in a home run, and uh, it just barely gets out, but it just hits over that yellow line out there, four for four in that game, and get that mission completed rather quickly. Now we're facing a lefty uh, home field in Seattle Mariners home field, and we go the other way late base hit i feel like that's going to be the ichiro special in online modes our late base hits the other way for doubles down the third baseline just over the third baseman's head who is playing in an auto bunt shift for the most part uh, just something to keep in mind when you have ichiro and you're facing ichiro of what he can possibly do for you anyway uh, in this moment i feel like you only needed like two hits or something a lot of these moments only require two hits in one game 
it's fairly easy and uh, should be able to get these finished within a good amount of time. I feel like uh, if you wait on a good pitch, exactly what I'm doing here, just trying to take as many pitches as possible, trying to wait for one over the middle. I already have a hit in this game. You don't want to get over aggressive. And uh, also doing this, you can develop bad habits for online play. You don't want to swing at everything. You want to still be able to take pitches, even though the timing window is much different than an online game. You still want to try and keep the same approach. This is the moment when you're facing uh, Severino where you need to steal base. He actually did walk me in that situation on four pitches. So I didn't even need to get a hit. I just now need to steal second. But he knows I'm going. He's going to try and pick me off. I'm also not going to go on the first pitch. Once again, as you saw there, he went to a slide step. The previous guy was a little bit slower to the plate. But Luis Severino will try and pick you off. He will go to a slide step. I think I called him Pedro Severino earlier in the video. I don't even know why I said that. I was thinking Pedro Martinez talking about him in the live stream. Maybe that's how. But anyway, I feel like trying to steal this base was a little bit more challenging. I think that uh, since they put the ball in play this time, they're fouling some pitches off. I kind of had to edit this clip a little bit better. But this is kind of what I wanted to show you. I'm taking one step lead. I'm aiming the left stick to the left, and he goes with the slide step again. But this time we get in barely, just barely safely right there for the stolen base. So we're able to complete that moment. I wanted to just focus on that. I know I butchered his name. I apologize for that. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking Pedro for some reason. But anyway, uh, in this next one, facing the A's once again. Just need a couple hits, and an extra base hit to start it off is nice. At this point, I finished all the more difficult missions, or at least the ones that I feel are a little bit more challenging. Now I only need to finish it off with a few hits in these last couple games. These last ones I left are just, you know, one or two hits in each one. Maybe an extra base hit. I don't really think so. I think I've completed all those and shown all of those up until this point. But basically, uh, this Ichiro is going to be incredible. I cannot wait to use this card in ranked seasons. I know Thanksgiving is going to be tomorrow, so I won't have a live stream then. But I will be uh, playing this weekend trying out this card and getting into some rank trying to make world series so that way we can get some more viewer games in i'm trying to play as you guys as much as possible but here we are in the last moment with the yankees and uh, just looking to finish it off with the home run that's the best way to finish it best way to complete this each road last hit just save the 4,000th hit if that makes sense the 4,000th one and uh save that last mission for that so we get the card this is it the game reward a non-sellable ichiro 99 overall and i want to just quickly show you guys once again all these moments have been completed i was able to earn some stubs some xp of course i uh don't need the xp if, because i'm already a diamond level 100 but if you aren't then that will certainly help you uh achieve the xp reward path a little bit faster every you know 10,000 xp here and there will certainly help but that is how to unlock the 99 Ichiro, that is unlocking the 99 Ichiro as well. The previous video, I kind of just explained the card. Now on this one, I wanted to show you how to actually do it and uh, it, it provide evidence that I was able to complete it, which things help me, and uh, kind of some tips and tricks on how to do so. So thank you all for watching this video. I think that this Ichiro card is amazing. As you can see, it is completed and he will be starting for me in right field. I'll move Babe Ruth to left field and uh, Willie Mays in center, Babe Ruth will be uh, batting in the three spot now with Ichiro in the leadoff spot. And I don't know if that will be my end game team, but I will try them out in that position. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a great Thanksgiving. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.